from Fox News, and it's even easier to listen in the car with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Get programming alerts and notifications. Fox News Audio is on the Fox News app, the Voice of America Trust. Download it now. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham must answer questions from a Georgia grand jury investigating alleged election interference. South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham is scheduled to appear for a Georgia grand jury on November 17th after losing a bid to block the subpoena at the U.S. Supreme Court. Justices did not note any public dissent in the ruling, leaving in place lower court rulings that compelled Graham to testify in an investigation about possible illegal interference in the 2020 election by former President Trump. Graham argued the Constitution speech and debate clause shields him from being forced to testify, and the court did note there are limits and questions Graham would have to answer. At the White House, Jared Halpern, Fox News. In a statement released late last night, the White House says President Biden... Police reported ahead. ...in his power to reduce U.S. gun violence, emphasizing that thoughts and prayers alone are not resolving the issue. Newark, New Jersey police officers are recovering from gunshot wounds they suffered on the job yesterday. Investigators say this all started when two officers were responding to a 911 call. A local woman thought she had spotted a man in her building who was wanted for a previous shooting. So, police showed up, didn't find anyone at first, but as they were leaving, they apparently encountered this suspect. Gunfire was then exchanged, where one of the officers was hit in the neck, the other in the leg. Initially, there were reports the suspect was firing from the top of a building using a long gun. That turned out not to be the case. Fox News' Jeff Paul reports police are still searching for the gunman. In Houston, police are still looking for the person who shot and killed the rapper known as Takeoff on Monday night. This great city, with our great city, with our police department. We will find who's responsible for it. Police Chief Troy Fenner first they all to shot and killed reportedly during a dice game at a bowling game by Jack Callahan. This is Fox News. In a changing real estate market, you need to get the right advice. You'll get the right advice if you talk to Bob and Sandy Jameson of the Jameson team. Bob and Sandy and their team have a combined total of over 50 years' experience in real estate. It all. And as a result, they've developed the skills, tools, and strategies to sell homes quickly and for top dollar regardless of rising interest rates. On top of that, they've helped sellers in every type of situation, so there's nothing they can't handle. Need to sell before you buy or buy before you sell? They can help you with either scenario. You need a fast sale and can't deal with a bunch of repairs? Skip the instant offer company and talk to Bob and Sandy. Does your home need a little TLC to get the most money? Put your short on cash. Call the most money in your pocket. Call 408-686-HOME. That's 408-686-HOME. Or see them online at sandyhasfire.com. Thank you. 
staff that at least one of the missiles launched by North Korea landed less than 40 miles from the South Korean city of uh, Sokcho on the east coast. And uh, uh, while air raid warnings had, uh, had sounded, uh, we heard the siren around 8.55 a.m. and all of us in the building went down to the evacuation place in the basement of one county official. We stayed there until we came upstairs around 9.15 after hearing that the projectile fell into the high seas. South Korea's uh, Joint uh, Chiefs of Staff, the President, had ordered President South Korea ordered a swift response to the North's latest attack by firing off their own uh, missiles. Yeah. All right. Where that where that goes, you know, we we uh, it's really interesting because with a president that obviously, uh, as we have said, uh, is having cognitive problems for whatever reason, uh, I'm amazed that there has been more of a test on him from other. Yeah, um, you would think especially at election time uh, that there would be uh, more tests uh, being thrown at him from uh, people like uh, Kim Jong Un, um, Vladimir Putin. Uh, that that may be. I mean, there's been uh, that okay, or, you know after the election. I don't know. That, does it stand to reason that uh, people like Kim Jong Un and Vladimir Putin would rather have a Joe Biden uh, as president uh, as opposed to a conservative? Uh, yeah, that that makes sense. So uh, you don't mind you can create the all chaos you need, knowing that Biden's not going to do anything about either one of them and they feel comfortable in doing it. There's a train of thought, if there was a stronger American president, he may not have gone into Ukraine. Right. Uh, uh, yeah. you, know, you, right. Can, you can't debate it because that, that scenario didn't happen, so you're right. arguing a, a, a hypothetical at, at, the, uh, at that point. We know that he's been rejected by the Middle East. We know that uh, you know Saudi Arabia basically in this base, you know, came over there begging for, you know, begging for oil. It's like, get out. Right. But, sorry, <laughs> you can solve this problem. You don't wish to do so. Right. Since you don't, we're going to make some cash out of it. Since you don't give a damn about the American people, we're going to make cash. Right. Because we know you don't care. You don't want gasoline prices to go down. They know that. Everybody knows that. Which is why, as we said, the biggest lie all Democrats. I don't know one Democrat. I'm going to know Tim Ryan. Lots don't want fracking on uh, federal land. Stop. Yeah. yeah. Stop. Uh, stop lying. Stop uh, lying. Right. And uh, and but uh, every single Democrat right now that is in elected office on the federal level does wants higher gasoline prices. Mm -hmm. They want higher fuel prices. They want they higher want diesel prices. Every day. The whole point is to get you off, us off fossil fuel. The only reason they've changed their mind is because they realize this is hurting them in a midterm election. Yeah. And so when Fetterman said he's always been pro-fracking, it was laughable. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, that's, that's what they have to do. They have to pretend just a couple of months before an election where they're not doing so well, when reality is hitting, when people are actually paying the price, they have to lie, pretend, but everyone knows Biden doesn't want lower gasoline prices. Right. He just wants them low because he's hoping to limit the damage and maybe he can run for president again. It's strictly political, but they don't want low gasoline prices. Every single Democrat listening to me right now, every person who has voted Democrat knows that's the biggest lie, among other lies, but that's the biggest lie across the board, in unison by Democrats, that they claim that they want lower gasoline prices. They want the opposite, because the whole point is to drive people to alternative forms of energy. Right. Hey, did you see Greta? Uh, you, you talked about me yesterday about uh, how she's rejecting 
all the different uh, 